Mushroom. No, 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 no. Leave the tree alone. Jeez, Tara, stop murdering trees. Hi, guys. My name is Lisbug, and unfortunately, we're back here in Wildflowers, and Grandma Hazel has passed on. If you saw my last video, we just had her funeral, so I'm going to talk to the villagers now and kind of get a feel of what we're going through. I only knew your abuela a short while, but she was a lovely person. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Look, honey, if you have an heirloom you want me to adjust for you, I'm happy to do it, free of charge. Well, that's very kind of you, Francis. I am so sorry about your grandma. She used to joke I would have to pry her secret cookie recipe from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> but I thought that's just Hazel being Hazel, you know? Uh, it's okay. I'm fine, really. You're being so brave. She would have been very proud. Thanks. Oh, I like Sophia. She's a sweetheart. My own grandma helped raise me while my parents were working night shifts in the city. I miss her every day. My heart goes out to you. Thank you. And sorry about your grandma. Cameron says we just have to work to live up to their hopes for us. I'll try. Gotta go make grandma proud. Sorry about your gram. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. Well, way to be a downer, Julia. Now, before you guys come at me in the comments, I'm aware she lost her dad to pancreatic cancer. And I'm aware that teenagers can be kind of dark. So, I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, I'm seriously bummed on your behalf. This is just really heavy, brah. Thanks, Kai. Today, when I paddle out, I'm gonna catch a bomb just for Hazel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that would have meant a lot to her. <laughs> he is so awkward, but he means so well. Hazel was a true friend and a darn good steward of her land. I'll miss her. I know what it's like to lose someone you were close to. A kind word would have meant a great deal to me then. You have my sympathies. Thanks, Vanessa. I know in the last video, when Vanessa visited Tara and Hazel right before she passed away, she brought us cupcakes and she mentioned that she was a caretaker at one point for one of her friends who got uh, cancer. So, I don't know. Maybe she's not quite so Miss Fancy Bridges as we think. <sighs> I just can't believe Hazel's really gone. Since my dad moved away for work, things got lonely. Hazel was there for us. She made me feel like everything was going to be okay. I wish I could have done more to help her. If only we had more time. There's nothing anyone could have done. Don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself. There are people here who will help you. We need to stick together. Thanks. Aww, I do like Violet. One of the last things that Hazel tells uh, Tara, too, is to take care of her. A Violet. In times of loss, it can be tempting to wallow in grief, but I don't think that's what your grandmother would have wanted for you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that is a really good point. Come by the Consciousness Center anytime. We're here to help. Again, he's a little bit of a weird guy, and that comment was a little off-putting. In some context, but like, again, he means well. <laughs> Look, Tara. I'm real sorry about Hazel. She was a special lady. I'll be sure to raise a glass to her at the bar. Wait. Hazel was a special lady and one heck of a good baker. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. She would have wanted me to make sure that you're well fed, so here, try some of this. Thanks, Angus. 
Oh, that's sweet of him. I don't want baked goods. Food is Hazel healing. Was ready. She knew it was her time, but it's still all right to be upset and to mourn her. You deserve that space for yourself. It must be hard because Amira is her doctor. To know there's not really much you can do anymore. That'd be rough. Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Hazel. This is a tough deal. Thanks. I'm not great at these situations. Um, let me know when you're feeling better. You know what? I appreciate that he was open about him being uncomfortable. You know? I haven't gone through... A d I could have sworn Otto was around here, but I don't think he is anymore. That's okay. Um... I wonder if we can, we can interact with her gravestone. No. That's so sad. I'm gonna miss her so much. She was so sweet. I haven't had a death in the family recently, but I have had um, a couple people in my family pass away that are extended family that maybe I didn't know as well, or, or t a lot of time has passed, it's not as hard. Um, but I've gone through some stuff for sure, and let me tell you, just being honest with somebody who's going through something like this, saying, you know what, I'm not really sure what to do, and just being open to, hey, I'm here if you need me, um, that goes a long way. It really does. Just being open and honest is much better than trying to perform for someone who's grieving to make them feel better. It's okay not to know what to do. Just being there and letting them know that you are there is more than enough. For me, anyway. I'm sorry about your grandma. My grandpa's gone, too. Well, not gone, gone, but he's at Harmony Acres. It's this place in Milkwater for old folks who can't remember anymore. I don't like going that much. I don't blame you. That sounds hard. Yeah, but at least we get to take the ferry over. I love taking the ferry. <laughs> They're so innocent. Um... My mom told me about your grandma. I'm sorry. You must be really sad, huh? Yes, but I'll be okay. I have an idea to cheer you up. <laughs> Wanna come help me and Emmy pull a prank on Messenger Cameron later? <laughs> We're gonna super glue all of his books of the mind to the chairs. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll sit this one out. That's too bad. Promise not to tell on us? Oh, don't worry. This conversation never happened. <laughs> I am grateful that Hazel was still her same fiery self right until the end. My father isn't so fortunate. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. How stupid of me. I can't imagine how you must feel. It's okay. I'll miss her. She was a wonderful mentor and a steadfast friend. That's another thing, too, is, you know, it can be awkward when you bring up something else that you've gone through when you're trying to cover someone else. But I don't know. For me, it doesn't uh, affect me as much because it's natural. As human beings, we try to relate to each other. So just acknowledging that you, you did that is fine. You know, most people aren't going to be that upset, I think, unless it's really weird. I didn't really know Hazel, but I can tell from the way people speak about her that she was special. Thanks. She was. Have you had anything to eat today? Would you like something to take home? That would be really kind, yes. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you, Kim. I really appreciate it. so sweet I love the way she put it too like have you, have you eaten today do you want something to take home right like not like hey I need you to eat this in front of me so I know you're okay allowing her kind of like what Amira said that space for grief but also making sure that Tara's taking care of herself hey this might be like weird or whatever 
but Juliet and I, we're, we're part of a, a grief group. It, it's for kids, but you can come if you want. I, I don't think anyone would care. See, that's just so sweet. And you know what? It's not weird because that means he was thinking of Tara. Oh, I don't know if I've talked to her yet. Hi. I've been meaning to stop by, but I, I didn't want to intrude. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Hazel was a truly decent person. Strong, too. I see a lot of her in you. Thanks. Made you something? Of course, I'm not much of a cook, but I can keep a fire lit under a pot at least. Oh. Okay, all of these people bringing things is genuinely so sweet and touching. Like, she didn't have to do that. Aww. Constituent's name here. <laughs> wow, very personal. You are cordially invited to attend the annual Fairhaven Summer Festival. It's in just a few weeks. I hope to see you there. Sincerely, Autosoft. Aww. Don't get to go with Grandma. Starts in 15 more days. Oh, okay. I wonder... I wonder what that means. So I get to prepare the farmhouse for the season ahead. I'm still saving up for a new vegetable patch and also fixing up the ranch. Somehow it makes it so much sadder because I really wanted to make this for Grandma Hazel. She won't be here to see it. Oh, that actually like really hurts my heart. Just have to make this little place as beautiful as we can just for her. compost going. I'm leaving these uh, empty because I don't know what's in season for um, summer right now. I know that these lemons, um, excuse me, limes, are still growing and so are the apples, so I'm going to leave those be for now. Ugh, every time she just stands idle, she just, she's just so sad. Ugh. Finally, a moment to myself. Now I can look at that book that, um, that man, Wesley, gave me. Huh. Oh, yeah. Looks like a journal. Grandma's journal. <sighs> this is her handwriting. On the front flap, it says, To my dear niece, to record thoughts both mundane and magical. Vivian. Vivian was Grandma's aunt. She must have been a witch, too. That is what Grandma said. Here's the first entry. Today's chores took me through the portal, where I spoke at length with the fairies. Did she write fairies? Maybe I'm misreading the writing. Or maybe there's even more to discover on this island than I realized. Ooh. An increased energy spell, an incantation to permanently increase your energy bar. Dullness binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me sprightly. The cauldron cannot be constructed in your basement. I thought I had a cauldron. Whoa! My bar got way bigger. So I can make more cauldrons then, right? Okay, can we just take a moment? This soundtrack is so nice. It's so nice. And emotional. You guys, this this little farm game is making me feel things that I wasn't prepared to feel. <sighs> I just, I'm so attached to these characters in this world, even more than I thought I would be. I've got the stuff for it. You know what, let's make another cauldron for Grandma. Let's do some miracle grow as well. So you can get 
ready for summer. We should probably go to the coven. This will be sad though because this is the first time I will have gone to the coven meeting without grandma. Elder Hazel won't be there. I wonder what that means for Tara and also for the leadership of the coven. Isn't um, elder like a, like a title? Does that mean somebody else is now the elder? Something wanted to jump in my bag just then. Oh no, it was just the tree. There's Juliet. I grab her some moonflowers. Aw, oh, it was the first thing that Grandma sent me to go get out here. That's how I knew she was a witch, was by hiding behind those rocks. Ugh. It's a good memory, but it makes me miss her. Let's see. I should probably donate a little bit to the cauldron. What does our coven members have to say? I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. <laughs> oh man, if only there was Hogwarts. Does every witch here just accept the fact that seasons have to get turned, like mattresses? <laughs> no, not at all. It was hard for me to accept, too. What I learned is that places close to wellsprings are easily untethered from the realities of our world. For example, weather. Oh, so that's a Fairhaven thing. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. Yeah, I kind of figure. Make sure you use the right ingredients for your incantations. Wouldn't want you to accidentally give everyone in town bunny ears. That... that is not something I could actually do, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh boy. Hi, High Priestess. I've been reading this journal. It belonged to Grandma, and... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I know Hazel took the journal in for rebinding. I'm glad that it's safely back in your hands. There are entries that mention the fairies. Does... Does Fairhaven have fairies? You still have much to learn about the magic on this island. But before I tell you more about that, you must prove that you understand us. As a coven, speak to the Farseer Witch. He will explain. Oh, ho, ho. We've lost many witches over the last few years. I thought that someday I'd get used to the ache those absences leave behind, but I never do. Okay, so we've got something Farseer needs us to do. Your gram wasn't a fan of our masks, but rules are rules. You've got to earn our trust before we can reveal who we really are. Unless you think you can guess my name. Stiltskin? <laughs> ah, don't be called the faithful unless you mean it now. You're to complete a test. Each member of the coven will ask you for a magical item. You're to bring it to them. Sounds easy enough. During the day, in town, if you Whoa. give it to the right person, we'll say so. What? But what if I give it to the wrong person? <laughs> Won't Cameron freak out if I give him some magic doodad? Don't worry. Civilians can't read incantations. It just looks like a blank piece of paper to him. I'm to set you the first task. It has to do with time. Okay. Oh, time travel? How far back can I go? You're not <laughs> ready for that yet, novice spot. You can try pausing time for a moment to give you long enough to finish what you've got to do. It will only work while you're in the place you read the spell. Once you leave that space, 
Time will resume its course. Here's what you need to write the spell. Come to me during the day when you've finished it. Ooh! Freeze time incantation, that sounds awesome! Okay. Wish it could have frozen time to keep Grandma around. Like, not to be that person, but that would have been nice. But I know it wouldn't have changed anything, obviously. But it would be nice just to be with her a little longer. Also, I love the fact that Cameron was the default definitely not a witch example in Tara's mind. <laughs> like, I agree with her, Time but for bed. kind of, kind of rude. rude. <laughs> I feel like the music changed a little bit because it's summer now. Okay, so our potions are ready. Let's make some harvest potions. And another boost potion. Oops, yeah, okay. So to freeze time, I need paper, ink, and honey. Um, was it honey or is it wax? Beeswax, I have, I have beeswax? Okay, let's craft this. But, I didn't know I had beeswax. Oh wait, this is my journal. So now I can go bring Farseer that. I keep bringing out my journal. Uh, since when do I have beeswax? Since, since now, I guess. I wonder if that just automatically comes as I get honey? Because I don't remember getting like a notification that I have beeswax. Okay, so, oh, hi, Thomas. Every time I try to go out to the garden and someone got to talk to me. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> Your grandma, she was strange for sure, but she had respect for the land. Our families were close and Hazel was special. <laughs> yeah, she was. She always wanted you to love this place as much as she did, so? I'm gonna teach you farming for her. Nice. Great. When do we start? Right now's as good a time as any. Take these cotton seeds and plant them. But you better plant them quick. They take a while to grow and they only grow in summer. You can buy more cotton seed from me and a few other things if you need. You can grow this cotton and turn it into cloth. That makes a bit of money. Dyed cloth is even better. Come see me when you're ready to learn about making cloth. Thanks, Thomas. Excited for summer, Thomas? Well, it brings its own challenges. My mom taught me to use trees to shade your crops, especially in summer. So I've been checking in with every tree, having a little chat, making sure they're healthy. Sounds good. What's this? Am I sure this is the Farseer Witch? I'll have to make another incantation and explain myself if I'm wrong. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. That's not him. I already know who the fire seer witch is. That's Bruno. I'm. I, if it's not, if it's not, I'm gonna be so confused. So he mentioned something about shading your crops. Um. Oh, hold on. I want this one right here. Yeah. I'm just gonna plant them as is for now and see how that goes. And then if they um, need shade, we will fix it. How long do they take to grow? Oh, they don't need to be watered. Seven days makes four. Yeah, let's, let's use some of these. Boost harvest potion. Boost harvest potion. Make it grow faster. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Okay. For now, we're gonna leave these trees be. Okay, two days remaining. And it looks like.
like they're all watered. There's no honey because there's no flowers. Do I have any flower seeds? I don't, and all of these are out of season. Okay, so I really just need to get some seeds. For now, let me go pet this cat. My little pet cat. Oh, what a good purr. Need me a little comfort. And then we'll go ahead and head to Lena's to see what kind of seeds we can buy. Oh man, she's closed on Thursdays. Of course she is. Okay, what's her kids got to do? That was a weird thing to say. I don't know why I said it that way. Lemonade? Is that what you need? Tara! 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 Did something happen? We want to build the lemonade stand. That's what happened. Mommy <laughs> said she would help us with the lemons, and Daddy said he would help us build the stand. But we still need the wood for the stand. And some sugar. <laughs> it's hard to say no to that. Plus, if you help us, we'll give you a lemonade discount. So you'll be like an investor. You can see long-term returns. Emmy's been reading a book that Daddy bought. He said it was boring, but Emmy doesn't think it's boring. <laughs> scary. You scare me. <laughs> Business isn't scary. It kind of is, though. Well, hey. let me see what I can do. Whee! Endless lemonade! <laughs> so they need uh, wood and sugar. Oh, I must have used the sugar to bake something, because I know I had two sugar before, so I just need to get them sugar sometime. That's cute. It'll give Tara something to keep her mind off of things, you know? Now, I know that Bruno is farseer. I know it in my soul. But uh, wasn't there something I was supposed to give him? Am I sure this is the farseer witch? I'll have to make another incantation and explain myself if I'm wrong. I'm sure. This is nicer than what I usually wrap fish in, but it'll do. Thanks. Oops, that is not the Farseer Witch. I'll have to try someone else. What? 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 No way! Do you remember going fishing for trout in the summers with your grandpappy and me? Not really. <laughs> Well, you did sleep through most of it. Those were real pleasant afternoons. Robert and me running our mouths and you snoring at our feet. Aww. I still love you, Bruno, but I am so confused. It must be Shelby then, right? Like, no one gives spooky witch vibes more than Shelby just chilling in the forest with his toadstools. Right? Right? Oh my gosh. It better be. I wonder if there's new things to collect out here now that it's summer. Ooh, toadstool. Anything else over here? I feel like there's different flowers now. Got a mushroom. No, 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 no. Leave the tree alone. Jeez, Tara, stop murdering trees. A little closer. There we go. gotta be. Wait, what? I gotta make another one. Oh, she even said I did. Oh, man. Here, let's just talk to him now. Your grandma knew you would come back to take care of her in the end. She did? Oh, yeah. I told her. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you sure don't. Ah, uh, because he's farseer. Because he mentioned he can prophesy, essentially. Let me go back home and make the incantation and then give it to Farseer. Take two. Oh wait, freeze time? Wait, 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 wait. What am I supposed to do? Oh wait, so I'm doing this entirely wrong. Make a freeze time incantation as part of your quest to unlock the Farseer's identity. Ugh, okay. 
So I have to make the incantation. And then I gotta, like, use it? Well, probably not. I'm probably supposed to deliver it to him. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I messed up. And I need to go get ink. So let's go fishing. And then maybe after I've gone fishing, I'll have some ink and we can make the incantation and I can do the quest properly because heaven forbid I do anything in the sequential order in this game. I don't have any bait. Maybe I should visit Bruno's shop? Oh, dang it. What? When are you, when do you close? Five? Oh, I might just be able to make it. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh. Did you guys see that? No, 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 Bruno, no! It's 4.50, Bruno! What? You said you close at 5. Come on, old man. Work with me here. Let's go ahead and collect these potions while I can. Just go to sleep because if I recall correctly, tomorrow. Let's see. Oh my goodness, there we go. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow he will be closed, but Lena should be open if I remember right. Yeah, she'll be open so I can go get some seeds and then can get some bait at some point. We might even get some worms from the compost pile. Is it time for bed? Got exciting news! I've been named this year's captain of the summer festival. Wow! So does being captain mean you get to ride on a parade float? <laughs> no, but I do get to organize everything and make sure the festival is perfect. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is. Francis did it one year and almost had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, hon, I need your help. The festival is a day-long celebration culminating in a big bonfire down by the beach. I need wood. Lots and lots of wood. Please bring any you can spare to Thomas. He's volunteered to help assemble the bonfire. Thanks so much. You're the best. All right. We definitely have enough wood for that. Oh, you know what? I can probably give it to Thomas today. Let me grab this weed while I'm at it. Hi, kitty cat. Gotta love on the cat. It's Listen the rules. Her. Oh, it gave us a fish. Well, now I have some bait. I love when my cat gives me dead things. Okay. So we need some summer uh, plants and also some sugar. So for sure, let's give them some sugar. And then... Let's see. What are in stock right now? So corn, hops, oh probably for like beer I'm assuming, strawberry seeds, sugar cane, and tomatoes. Okay. So I know for sure like I have like lasagna and stuff that needs tomatoes. We'll do some corn, we'll do some strawberry seeds, and then sugar cane I think we'll wait on because I think that's going to take up most of the room in the garden. Um, is there anything I can sell her that I don't really need? Honestly, most of this I can use except the 
maybe the butter and stuff, but I do have a cookbook now, so I might be able to use a cookbook um, and use those baking things instead. You are a lifesaver. Now the twins have something to occupy themselves with outside of school. Except, Emmy keeps asking me about stock options, and Finn keeps asking what would happen if you put ketchup in lemonade. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, we need 15 sugar. Oh, well, hot damn. Let's go ahead and grab some sugar cane then. Yikes. Alright. So, let's head on over to the beach, see if we can catch a squid, and then we'll drop off the wood for Thomas. What? Ah, oh no, that's just a big fish. I need a lobster guy. I need a spooky lobster guy. I see, I see movement over here. Are you? That's a lobster. Oh, I can get him from the the bridge, and I can go say hi to Thomas. All right, come here, big boy. Nope. Nope. I want I want the lobster. He better be a squid. Come here. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Please be a squid, cause I need ink. Yes! Squid. Why do blueberries grow all year long? It's unclear. While I'm over here, are there any shells? gameplay I did, it might have been in during the demo, that beach was just absolutely loaded with shells, and now there's like nothing. It's kind of sad. Thomas! Thomas, I have your wood. Here's the wood for the bonfire, Thomas. Thanks. It's really nice of you to help Sophia out. If that's bait, wash ashore, I'm not biting. Well, nice talking to you, Thomas. Wait! I ugh, need a favor. How can I oh. help? The summer festival is meant to celebrate the bounty of Fairhaven. Sophia and Angus spend the whole week leading up to it cooking and baking. Sophia asked me if I'd help her with the corn for popcorn. I filled ah. up as many of my plots as I can spare, but it won't be enough. You need me to grow corn? Yep. Here are the seeds. Ah. Five bushels ought to do it. Man, I could have just... Not bought the corn. But hey, I mean, now I've got extra. So, were you and Lena ever... Oh. Hazel told you about my high school dating life? That was a long time ago. And she moved on. Parker, he's a stand-up guy. But did you move on? Sure. <laughs> sure. Jeez, Tara. <laughs> okay. I know, and I think it was in the last video that Lena mentioned that, at least to her, he uh, never moved on past Lena. Um, but <laughs> I didn't expect Tara to just outright ask. <laughs> it seems super nosy, but you know what? I I enjoy bothering Thomas, so I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and plant some stuff. Let's see. We we'll can plant some tomatoes here. Water those. Nice. And then we can plant some corn here. summer festival. 13 days, and how long does it take to make corn? Oh, thank you for watering that. Let's just go ahead and water the other one while I'm thinking about it. It takes five days, and it makes four, so that would give me eight corn, and I think I only need five, right? A corny request. Yeah, okay, so that's as much corn as we're really going to need. 
Also, for aesthetic reasons, I am going to rearrange the garden because I can. Approximately 10 hours later. Yeah, okay, let's look at our little garden. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's see. Let's have maybe another tomato. We'll go ahead and water that. Which one was this one? Oh, cotton. Oh, okay, here. Let's make, we'll make the cotton, like, symmetrical here in a second. And then we need sugar cane. Full show. Oh, doesn't need any more. Let's see, let's do the boost harvest on this bad boy. Create a lot of sugar. Okay, let me rearrange this really fast. One eternity later. It doesn't matter. It is okay. But look at my beautiful little summer garden. Oh my goodness. Let's take a picture, shall we? Oh, no. Inventory. And we'll take a photo. <laughs> wow. That is quite the pose. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. for Farseer. Potions, potions. Oh, because I gotta make ink. Duh. Make two inks and make this. I'm gonna use my other ink for speed potion because I'm sorry, I just, I can't. Like, it's gotta be, we gotta be fast. Now that we got that taken care of, Let's go head over to Farseer. Since we're here, why not talk to Juliet? Mom said it hey, would kiddo. be good for me to go to the beach since it's so nice out. But what would I do? Like, sit on a towel and stare at the water? <laughs> she is such a teenager, and I love it. What up, Farseer? Heard you've been asked to help with the summer festival. Yes, I have. Sophia asked me to fetch wood for the bonfire. Bale fire, you mean? Witches have been celebrating the solstice with bale fires for millennia. Non witch folk came along, kept the custom, changed the name. So <laughs> it goes. The only remember part of the legend. How does the coven celebrate the festival? Oh, we join in with the rest of the town at the bale fire. Our own traditions, we keep to ourselves. Say, mm. you got any milk and honey? What for? Oh, is it another potion? You gotta learn your summer rites, novice. We leave offerings for the faithful every summer. It's tradition. Okay, well, honey, I can handle. But milk, I don't have a cow. The island will provide. Are you telling me to just search for a cow? Of course not. There's that ranch fixer-upper. You get that <laughs> done in time. You might be able to strike a deal with the rancher who moves in. Ooh, okay. I can also just buy milk. And cheat. <laughs> what are the stars saying tonight, Farseer? They'll tell you themselves. If you start listening. He has told me that before. You got that incantation written? I do. 
Yes, and I'll bring it to you soon. Take your time. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought I had it. I, I, I got it. Oh, during the day. Oh, okay. Okay, so I was right then, right? Because Farseer is not Bruno. So it's probably, um, it's probably Shelby. So during the day, I need to bring the implantation now that I have it. I really hope that I'm not 